My autistic brother keeps touching me and I'm not sure what to do. Okay. So I'm not sure if this belongs here but here goes. I'm a 14 years girl with a 21 years brother. My brother has always been autistic. And a serious case of one so when he tends to do stuff. We. My family. Has always been much more lenient with him. But before this year lockdown. I live in Australia. My brother has never really talked much. Only when he asks something and I answer but when this lockdown started. He has been more touchy. My brother at first wasn't a big brother. Just go to my room and ask a question and I'll either be on my chair. Working. I have online school while my parents have to go out to work. Or on the bed. Just relaxing but then my brother would then either go next to me. When I'm on the chair. Or on the bed. When I'm on the bed. And he would grab my legs. So this led to me kicking his hands of me or my attempting to move only to land on my face. It didn't really hurt much. I always managed to grab something to soften the fall. If he grabs my legs when I'm in the bed when my parents are home and see him grabbing them. They tell him to stop and he stops for the entire day but then continues the next day. But even then, he started to be more touchy than that. I am a heavy sleeper but I always don't have a consistent wake up schedule so I'll sleep at 1 am and wake up at 12 am or sleep at 3 to 4 am and wake up at 2 pm. So lately I have been waking more earlier but I don't tend to move much until some time passes but I have been waking up to my brother on my bed with his hands around me. Touching me around my private parts. I'm sure you can guess where that is. And sometime pitching my back. It does somewhat hurt but not that much to make a visible mark. And he would normally do this when he thinks I'm sleeping or I'm actually sleeping. I'm not sure what to do. I don't want him to get in trouble but I also feel like my privacy has been invaded. What do I do? You seriously need to talk to your parents about this cause it's wrong in so many ways and a huge invasion of privacy. This is a conversation you need to have with your parents. People with autism still have sexual urges. And if he has a very serious case of autism then he might not understand what is inappropriate outlet and situation for expressing his sexuality. You mentioned you cannot lock your door. The first thing I would do after discussing this with your parents is to ask for one. You're 14. This is an appropriate time in your life to have a lock on your door even without these circumstances. I also want to say that you shouldn't worry about him getting in trouble. He's touching you sexually. If he understands that it's inappropriate. That's a good reason for him to get in trouble. If he doesn't understand that it's inappropriate, he will hopefully get intervention. Whatever that looks like for his case. To curb this behavior. It's also important to bring it up as soon as possible. You don't want it to escalate. Especially if he tries to be sneaky about it. Like doing it in your room instead of in their sight so he can avoid being yelled at. I don't want him to get in trouble. You should probably be worrying more about your own safety than his comfort. Lock your door when you sleep. Make a big deal every single time he touches you in a way you did not ask for. Hit. Scream. Tell your parents. Tell an adult. Whatever. Be much more proactive than what you have been doing. His autism is not a free ticket to do whatever he wants to others. Demand a lock for your bedroom door. First of all. This is not at all okay and even if it leads to him getting reprimanded. You have to tell your parents what is going on. He needs. At a minimum. More guidance than he's getting about boundaries and personal space. You deserve to feel safe in your own home. You have a right to be safe in your own home. You probably shouldn't be home alone with him much and I don't know what making that happen might entail but your safety matters and your parents have as much obligation to protect your well-being as 
They have to insure your brothers. I highly recommend getting a lock for your bedroom door. If constantly telling him no isn't working. I feel like a lock is a good option to take away the opportunity for him to touch you. Autistic people have hormones too. My brother is like this as a 35-year-old man. He's not full functioning but likes to look and touch women without consent. And he doesn't understand why he needs consent. This needs to be addressed. You need to talk to your parents about this. Your brother most likely doesn't understand why. Maybe change the to lock your room and lock the room so he can't come in. Have you told your parents? If so, then what is their response? There is one more day of school and teachers are mandatory reporters so if you contact your school, they will have a well-being team then they will report this. Legally they have to. I am extremely concerned that your brother is working up to sexually assaulting you. Do you have a door stop or anything you can put in front of the door to stop him getting in? Wedge a thong or soft sneaker under it. Edit. Please please please, you are not getting him in trouble. He either understands and is ignoring boundaries or he doesn't and needs to be taught. I am a NSW teacher and I am very very worried for you. Do you know how to contact your teachers or school? Definitely talk to parents. Also explain just how uncomfortable you are and make a huge deal when he does it about how it's not okay for him to do that. Do not become lenient about this. It is totally unacceptable and if you let him continue it could cause issues for him in the future. With others. Good luck to you. You need to act now before. I'm sorry to say this something worse happens and I'm sure you know what I mean by that. You deserve to be safe in your own home. It doesn't matter if he is autistic or not. You need to tell your parents so they can get you a lock or even possibly have your grandmother. Keep a closer eye. I know you don't want to get him in trouble. But they need to know so they can protect the both of you. This is just about protecting yourself and ensuring you are safe. This could get a lot worse and as you've already said, his behavior has been escalating. So you have to assume that is going to continue. It can be really scary when you don't want to get someone in trouble. It sounds like you are uncomfortable with what your brother is doing but don't think it's that bad. Because of his disability. It's clear you are kind and care about your brother. This must be very hard for you. Which is exactly why you need to tell your parents. Your brother's behavior is only escalating. It needs to be out in the open and addressed immediately. Not only are you in danger but so is he. It's not uncommon for people with disabilities to need intervention with behavioral specialists to deal with this sort of thing. But that won't be an option if this continues and he inevitably does something much worse. The other thing is, he is doing much more than invading your privacy. It needs to be stopped, addressed and most importantly you need to be in a safe place. If there is a room in your house with a lock, that is where you need to sleep. You need to not be alone with him. And most importantly do not downplay the severity of what has happened to anyone. The best thing for both of you is make everyone aware so that it can be stopped immediately and you can be in a safe place. The longer he goes on hurting you, the worse it will be for everyone. You won't be getting him in trouble. It's clear your parents are already concerned. Help them. They can't fix the problem if they don't know it's happening. Please get help. Tell a trusted adult outside of your parents. This is absolutely not okay. I am 14 as well. And think that what your brother is doing is absolutely wrong. Just because he's autistic does not mean that he can touch you like that. I think that you definitely need to let your parents know. And whenever your brother tries to do stuff like that, get away from him. You do not need to put up with that at all. 
your safety is more important than him getting in trouble. Tell your parents. Tell them what he is doing. That counts as CSA as you're a minor. I know that with some autistic people. It can be difficult to understand boundaries that isn't said or written explicitly clear. In the best case scenario, your parents sit him down and explain that touching you isn't okay. You need to ask permission before touching someone even if they're asleep or awake. They should explain that touching you is hurting you. It's very very wrong and not okay. Obviously your parents should do something about it. However if they don't, and it continues, you need to contact docs, or whatever they're called now. If you tell a teacher, youth group leader or coach, they are mandatory reporters and will report this abuse to police. If you're able to go to Bunnings, if you're not in lockdown currently, and get a lock for your door, then that could be a good option. Kick up a stink about it. Be vocal. Don't let the fact that he is autistic minimize what you are going through. Yes autistic people can have a lot of trouble with boundaries if not aware. But being autistic doesn't excuse abuse or CSA. I am so sorry you're going through this. I'm from NSW and have suffered from CSA before. If you want, my DMS are open. You don't need to have a lock to block people getting in a door jam. The triangle ones used to prop doors open. Kicked under the door if it's one that ones inwards will work just as well as a lock and stop him. Coming in without installing locks. Definitely tell family because the way he is touching you isn't okay. All the above. Lock. Barricade your door. Tell parents. Scream shout kick punch every time you are touched inappropriately every time treat him like some random stranger that's groping you his autism most likely has nothing to do with this unless very low functioning even then he needs to be stopped given the fact he's purposely waiting till you're asleep and has probably picked up on your parents leniency I'm guessing he knows exactly what he's doing. Do not be afraid to fight back and say loudly. Do not touch me or I will call the police and mom. And dad. If that doesn't make him keep his hands to himself then it's time to escalate the matter. Tell your parents that if they can't control him you will contact Child Protective Services. If you don't let the authorities intervene he will wind up raping you. Do you have other family you can go stay with? Grandparents, aunts, uncles. This is only going to get worse. You need to tell your parents now. They need to protect you. Please talk to your parents. This is not okay. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.